Hi, this is a video to show you how you can run SAP transaction codes directly in Alteryx using the connector for SAP from DVW Analytics. Let's start in SAP itself and in the GUI running a transaction code there. I'm going to use FBL3N and this transaction has in our system anyway some variants and I'm going to use one of those which obviously give us some parameters which are predefined and I can run the program under those and get the output. Here you see that we have GL code and company code and they're the headers for these mini tables with the results and the totals and you can see that this is repeated for each combination. Now this is a standard SAP output but not necessarily great for analytics so let's see what we can do in Alteryx. Firstly we bring in an SAP logon tool onto the canvas and this allows us to connect to our SAP system. In this instance it's an ECC system which if I ping I can check that the connection is up and running. It is so we can proceed. Now we bring in the SAP report tool. And this allows us to connect to either a report, a program, or a transaction code. So I switch to transaction code and enter FBL3N as before. I search and that makes a connection into the SAP system and retrieves the program or the report behind that transaction code. It also brings back then the variants and also the parameters which you can see here. So I can manually enter my parameters or I can use a variant. I'm using a variant here and I click raw preview and you can see it's run that transaction code and brought back the data that we saw in the GUI. However this isn't great for downstream analytics as I mentioned so what we can do is some really cool functions here so if we right click then we can say process these header fields and what this does is it converts them into column values so you will get two columns one for GL and one for company code we also don't want this line here, um, so let's uh, tell it to ignore that. And we saw that there were totals which we don't really want to include at this stage in our analysis. So we can tell it to ignore those too. We can see that it hasn't quite picked up the correct syntax automatically, so we can manually adjust that. It should be pipe, space, space, asterisk. And we can say, look, if you see those in the first four characters, please ignore. And now if we hit raw preview, we see now that it's color code, the, the blue for the new columns and gray for those to be ignored. We can see a line in here also, however, that we want to use as our headers for the rest of the table, and that's line six. So if I raw preview again, that's color coded in green. And if I hit preview, we can see that our GL and our company code have been added to the columns. Now if I add a browse tool, we can complete our workflow and run it. And obviously when we run it, it's connecting to the ECC system, running the T-code and pulling the data through in a nice tabular format. You can see GL and company code here in columns and we can see the different combinations. So all those mini tables have been combined, ready for use in downstream analytics. So you can see it's really straightforward to get your SAP transaction data into Alteryx ready for downstream analytics. Hopefully this video was useful, but if you'd like to see more, please visit our website at dvwanalytics.com.